Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 22nd of August. Let's look back at last week's trade first and foremost and then we'll look forward to what we're looking for this week. Last week we were looking at a short in gold. Certainly this one's worked out very well because of the fact that we have seen a week where every single day has been a down day for gold. You can see the rally took us into the 61.8 fib. Now bear in mind what we're looking at here is a bearish trend a rally which is viewed as a retracement as we've seen in the past, but we don't necessarily know exactly where that retracement is going to go into before we roll over. That's the key here. And we came into the 61.8 fib, initially clearly respecting it, but could easily move higher through that level, tried to rally into it once again, failed to take out the prior high and head lower. We can see here bearish engulfing on the Monday and on the four hour chart, we can see here that we took out that first area of support, which is around about 1783. And that's the point where we look for the short position. It has worked out very well. We've seen this market moving sharply lower over the course of the week. So looks likely that we're going to be able to hit the take profit on that trade and move on to the next one. And the next one is a market that I think has been very consistent and therefore it's the kind of market that I love to trade. This is Euro Swissy. You can see here over the course of say mid-June into current price level, this market has been on a very consistent path. Prior to that, you can see that ultimately the trend has been a bearish one, but what we're looking at here is a very consistent trend, which is ideal really. Uh, here it is on the four hour chart. And so we're looking at say swing highs, Let's just draw them on here. So within the course of the last two months, we've had 10 swing highs and every single one falls below the prior swing high. That to me means that I'm quite happy to be able to trade this market and look for shorts and put my stops above the prior swing high. Different ways of doing it. You can do it on a retracement upwards. That'd be ideal really because you get a tighter stop loss. Uh, and a better risk to reward profile. On this occasion, we didn't necessarily get a deep retracement on this occasion, somewhere sort of midway point, probably between 38.2 and a 50% retracement there. But nonetheless, we've dropped back below that prior support level down here at 96.05. And therefore I'm expecting to see the sort of second half of that. What we have seen in recent sort of strong moves lower is around about a 200 point move lower. And you can see that half of that takes place coming into the prior low and the other half takes place to then sort of replicate that move lower. That was then. This is another example, 250 point move lower. Halfway into that, we broke through the prior low. I'm expecting the same here. I think this should be hopefully a relatively simple trade looking for a sort of relatively risk averse one for one trade. If we're looking towards the upside, it's around about 105 points up there. To the stop loss which will be at 2706 then to the downside we're going to look at a similar size move which was 106 so we'll put the stop loss down at 94.91 for a one for one trade to just jump into this trend once again and hope to see it as 11 times lucky on the bounce for lower highs for euro swissy